What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna do a very quick episode on why your cucumber plants are wilting during the day. This is a very common question we get, especially this time of year. Your plants have started growing and all of a sudden they start wilting and seemingly they, seem, they seemingly seem like they're dying and nothing you do can revive them. What are the causes and what can you do to prevent it? Now, uh, the first reason, as you can tell, the sun's out. It's uh, starting to heat up here. And the first reason is that cucumbers have a very, very thin stem. They have a very thin stem and they don't really, uh, they don't really have a whole lot of uh, surface area on that stem in the, the xylem to uptake water. The xylem is, the phloem and the xylem are kind of the, the tubes, the veins of the plant that bring water up and take sugars down. And so, um, they don't have uh, a very thick stem. And so because they don't, the amount of water they can take up to the very tops of the plant are, uh, is very little. And so you'll notice that the lower leaves generally, if it's water related um, and it's hot out, generally the lower leaves will stay nice and, uh, you know, kind of uh, taut or, you know, they're, they're nice and just normal, I guess. <laughs> they're very rigid is the term I was looking for. But you'll notice the further you go up, the, the wiltier and wiltier they get. That tells you it's water. Now, uh, if it is water, what you wanna do is you wanna wait not during the heat of the day, you wanna water during the morning. Water during the morning, especially with cucurbits, anything in the squash family, melon family, um, you wanna make sure you water in the morning. That way you don't actually start uh, spreading things like powdery mildew. If you water during the evening, um, you can actually uh, you can actually really spread a lot of nasty diseases like powdery mildew onto the plants and that's the last thing you want to do. So water during the morning, early morning before work or something like that, um, between the hours of say 5.30 uh, and you know maybe 10.30 in the morning. So good, good window but just before the heat of the day that way you don't stress the plants out and also that way you don't have any moisture sitting on or near the leaves that can cause some powdery mildew. Um, but it, you know the first cause is because of a lack of water. The second cause is because of a, of a pest. Now the pest is called the cucumber beetle. The cucumber beetle uh, will actually come and actually bite the leaves as well as the flowers. And what it has, it has a bacteria in its body and the bacteria will actually spread throughout the, uh, throughout the plant and can actually cause the plant to wilt and die. Now what you'll notice is over time, watering won't, you know, watering won't do the trick. Um, and that's because, um, <laughs> ant crawling on my leg there, um, watering won't do the trick. A lot of people think that it's watering and then all of a sudden it's just nothing's helping it. Um, it just continually gets worse. Um, it, come, it basically uh, turns, the leaves turn rigid during the night and then during the day the, the leaves just wilt. And even when you water the same thing happens. And then after a while the leaves start to turn yellow, the plants start to die back and then you lose the plant. That is because of the cucumber beetle. No amount of water, no amount of fertilizing can fix that. And so it's just very important to remember that if you start to see some wilting, look up at the newer growth. The older growth is usually the least affected. It's the newer, most tender growth, things like flowers, new buds, um, and new growth, where you can see the cucumber beetles. Now we don't have any cucumber beetles present, otherwise I would show you, but I'll flash a picture up as to what they look like. They're kind of these little yellow Volkswagen beetles with, uh, with some black stripes running down them and uh, they're pesky, they're very, very pesky. And um, they really can, uh, they can spread a lot of, of nasty diseases to your plant like cucumber wilt. And that's the, the second most common reason why cucumbers are wilting. And, uh, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Once the cucumbers actually get, uh, get the disease, it's very difficult for them to heal. Some can, some varieties are actually resistant to it but there are no heirloom varieties that are resistant. You'd have to go with like a hybrid uh, in order to um, be resistant to cucumber wilt. So just keep that in mind. Um, now, uh, the third reason why your cucumbers are wilting is because it's very hot. Now, cucumbers have large leaves, just like squash plants, just like uh, you know, um, you know, pumpkin plants, zucchini plants, melons. They have these huge leaves. These are giant solar panels. And what can happen is if it's very, very hot out, the leaves will actually, uh, they will actually kind of begin to wilt to conserve energy. It might not be that they're very dry. 
it might not be that they have a pest. It might just be the fact that they don't want to die and they don't want to show signs of stress. So their natural mechanism is to wilt. This is very, very common with things like pumpkins. Pumpkins will do this very frequently and people freak out. They say, what's going on? Now, if the problem persists and you know, after the cool weather, you might have a problem. Once cool weather returns or at night, you know, if the plants don't ever perk up, then it might be watering, then it might be a pest like squash vine borers or, or, um, or cucumber beetles. But if the plants like this one here, you see here, <laughs> it's just, it's so sad, it's so wilty. And um, my guess is that it's been quite dry the past couple days and they're most likely just kind of dry. But also um, if it were to get really hot, it can certainly wilt because of that. And that's just because it does not want to dehydrate. These giant solar panels they're very, very thin solar panels. And so if it gets hot out, um, water leaves the, the leaves through the stomata, through the bottom of the leaf. These little pores that open up, they're basically the lungs of the leaf. They open and close. And when they're, when they're in the open position, water can leave. So it's very, very hot out. The plant will actually kind of wilt down to reduce the surface area that, is, uh, that, that the sun can touch and evaporate. So. Those are the three reasons why your cucumber plants are wilting. Those are the three main reasons, at least. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it was a very quick episode, um, and there's not a whole lot uh, you, know, you can do to really prevent it. Um, you can water, like I say, you can try watering. You can add some, uh, you can add some, uh, some shade cloth if it's very, very hot out and the sun is scorching down on your plants. Try maybe adding some shade cloth during the heat of the day, like a 30%, 40% shade cloth, um, and then wait for cooler weather, uh, cooler weather to return or plant some varieties that are more resistant to, uh, to the cucumber, um, cucumber wilt and uh, cucumber mosaic virus, um, which are all spread through, through the cucumber beetle. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel, reminding you to grow big or go home. I'll catch you all later. See ya.